This RV went into limp mode while I was on a test drive. Most RV dealers would never want you to know that, but today here at the Motor Coach store in Bradenton, Florida, they are all about transparency. Brad, what happened to this coach? It went into limp mode while I was driving it. Well, we have our government to take for that. You know, depth uh, heads just go bad, you know, on all manufacturers, all makes. And um, yeah, so you were getting ready to uh, drive this coach and do your video and uh, that deaf head went bad and we're all about transparency here at the motor coach store. Let's talk about it. So what do we do now? You got a coach, you just bought this coach. Yeah. When I test just drove it, it, yep. it, a problem came up. Well, and here's a huge benefit to buying from a dealer, a reputable dealer. We're gonna go through the process on the coach, a PDI process, pre-delivery inspection, to make sure we're finding everything that we possibly can. So this happened to me just like it happened to a consumer. Uh, by luck, if you will, for you guys, not for me. Uh, it happened uh, after I bought it and before I sold it. So we take care of it when it happens. So the deaf head went bad, it goes into limp mode, and uh, you have to replace that deaf head. There's some uh, programming that comes with it afterwards uh, through Cummins or Detroit or whomever, uh, CAT, and uh, we take care of that. What's worst case scenario? What are we looking at here? How hard is this to get it fixed? Yeah, it's, it's not the end of the world. Uh, it's just something you have to throw a couple thousand bucks at and get it fixed, you know, and do it properly. That's all. What's the proper way? And we were talking yesterday, there's ways to kind of trick the computer, but how do you properly fix it? I'm going to turn that over to Chung and uh, have him explain that to you. Sounds good. Expert. Everybody, this is Chung. He's our yeah. resident diesel expert at the Motor Coach store. So, Chung, what happened with this coach, sir? Well, with the deaf head, you have issues with the 1939 data link, which is your communication bus from your sensors to the PCM or ECM. And when they short out, it gives an active fault code, which causes issues to where it'll tell you, it'll alert you at first to say, hey, we're going to start derating. And then if you don't pull over within a certain amount of time, you're going to immediately derate and you're going to go into 10 mile to 5 mile an hour speeds. We found that the 1939 data link was shorted so your resistance was over spec and we were able to get a deaf head sensor. I put it in this morning. Uh, we're going to be doing the Cummins programming to update for the new deaf head sensor which we'll be doing that tomorrow and then everything's going to be good to go. Yeah so is this a uh, just a Tiffin problem or I have been working in heavy diesel for roughly 18 to 20 years. It's not just Tiffin, it's Peterbilt International, uh, Tiffin, Spark chassis, Freightliner chassis. It happens on all of them. Even on Ford, I worked for Ford for a while, we had issues with that too. So Sprinter vans, I came from Mercedes, so anything with DEF has got yes, it? Sir. So 18 years as a diesel mechanic, what's what's some of your experience over that 18 years? I've got certified with International Cummins. Uh, started working on my Peterbilt training. I did some Ford training. I uh, worked with Caterpillar, uh, several different manufacturers, engine plants, industrial generators or over the road. It's been a long journey and it's been fun. And uh, what's your opinion of diesel exhaust fluid? Honestly, because of California, all the emissions regulations, it's not fun to work with. There's a lot of ins and outs that you can go around and figuring things out. But a lot of the stuff you have to be able to know by experience. And I've got a lot of different experience with a lot of depth systems over the years. So, so you, you're not afraid of uh, something like this coming into the shop? Oh, no, not at all. How many hours do you think total it'll take you to get this problem fixed? I replaced the deaf head. Like I said, I replaced the deaf head this morning. It took me about two and a half, three hours to pull it out, swap out the sensor, put the new sensor in. Now the PC, uh, ECM update, it's going to take about 30 minutes. Okay. Do you know where, can you show us where in the engine that deaf head is? Yes. This one, if you look from the rear of the yeah. coach, your deaf tank is over here. Yeah. And inside the tank, your sensor is actually inside the tank. That goes all the way down. And when uh, you're, it has a level sensor, temperature sensor, and when it fills up the float on the inside, it'll give you your temperature reading, it'll give you level, your level reading. And nine times out of 10, it's either your temp sensor or your level sensor inside that sensor assembly that shorts out. Uh, but other than that, it's pretty simple. 
Any advice that you would have for the folks out on YouTube, uh, how to avoid this, or is it just something that you just gotta be prepared for? Unfortunately, it is something that you're gonna have to be prepared for because it could happen at any time and you won't even know it. I mean, it's all electronic, there are resistors inside the sensors, and when a resistor goes, it goes. You never have a, a knowing of when it's gonna happen. Awesome, well, Chung, can't thank you enough for sharing that with us. Greatly appreciate your help, sir. Well, thank you. All right, Brad, fortunately, you've got an amazing team here that is helping get this tiffin going right away. Any advice you have for someone that's thinking about buying a coach that has depth, which is everything oh, yeah, over the everything. last 10 years? Yeah. It goes back to my original uh, advice I give everybody. Own the coach. Don't let the coach own you. It's going to happen. What are we going to do? It's government uh, restrictions. It's, 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 there. it's here to stay. So when it happens, deal with it. I can't thank you enough for being so transparent and sharing us with us that everything is not a perfect world in the RV business. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> hey, how often do you buy a coach and then something like this happens? Oh, it's nature of the beast. So whatever happens, happens. Just again, just roll with it. So just, uh, you know, fix it as things come. Brad, can't thank you enough for your transparency. If someone wants to purchase one of the coaches you have for sale here at the Motor Coach Store, who should they get a hold of? Uh, go to my website. You can get my phone number and email off there. You can call me, text me, email me any way you want. Get a hold of me. Thanks. Can't thank all of you enough for subscribing to the channel and liking these videos. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again. See you soon.